After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops have stole me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Okay, every day when I come through these doors, I change. I'm a totally different person. I have to be tough when I need to be. But then at the same time, try to understand not everybody that is in here is a bad person. Sometimes they're just put in a hard situation. They make wrong choices. And a lot of these people, it's their first time, and they probably won't be back again. We're waiting for a code five that's about to come in. The male, all we know is he's combative. Okay. Oh. He's on PCP and meth, and he's been on a bench for four days. He's run the pond naked. Christopher, Christopher, if you want to help. Come on, man. You know me that. Here we go. And judging by your red face, you have an alcohol problem. <laughs> I bet. No. Oh, who's laughing? Who's laughing? Hit that guy? Hit your face is redder than his. I bet you guys have been at the same bar every day. <laughs> he was going to let me go. I wouldn't know. Stop me off, man, please. This is psycho. I don't want to go through it. No mistakes, guys. For his own safety, he'd be taking up the 2C because it's a better place to watch him. They watch him every four minutes. Uh, there's two officers up there to keep a track of him just for his own safety. He obviously he just can't put him in a cell because just the state of his mind is just going to work out. He needs to be closely watched. How do you say your first name, Helenia? Helena? Is the OR going to be faster than this? Is the bail going to be faster? Your only charge is trespass. So, four to 12 hours, you'll be out of here. And you're not going to be working at night anymore, you were telling me? Mm, I'm going back to school um, this next spring. I'm going to go to school for dental assistant. I started school, but I never finished. Uh huh. Um, I had a fluoride scholarship to play soccer at UW when I graduated, but I didn't take it because I was on drugs. And then I had babies. So. And you're how old now? 20. You're 20? Yeah. How long were you out in the streets for? Um, since I was 13. So since you were 13, you've been out in the streets. How did you get out on the streets? What got you started in that? I left because my dad mistreated me. And in a, like, physical way? Physical, sexual. He did that to all the girls that were in the foster care until they lost their license, but I still ended up staying because I have their last name. Right. They adopted me, but they never took care of me. Then you said you had three kids? I have three kids. Are they all from the same father? Yeah. Yeah, you're still with him? Yeah. You said you were not going to work the streets anymore. What happened tonight? How come you're in here for trespass? I was out with two of my really close friends. They wanted to celebrate with me because they were the ones that finally got me out of it. They told me to stop, and they've been telling me to for a year now, and I finally did. So they just wanted to hang out with me tonight. OK. So because they knew you, they got you in for trespassing? And you were just celebrating to end all this. Yeah, but it's all right. <laughs> it happens. OK, well, at least you're going to be out of here without having to pay bail. And you'll be out of here in 4 to 12 hours. <laughs> Hopefully it's 4, yeah. I hope I don't see you here again. All right. Hey, do you 
remember Helena from previous times? Yes. You know, she's only 20. She says she's going to give up the streets and study. What's your worst experience out there? What happened? Uh, I've been stabbed in my stomach and in my head. You are what? Stabbed. You were stabbed in your stomach? Let me see. Wow, what happened? How, how did that happen? I was in Arizona. I was jumping in cars when I was 16. From car day. I was trying to jump out of the car because he pulled a gun on me. And I pulled out the knife and he took it from me. He stabbed me twice and threw me out the passenger seat. With your own knife? Yes. You, so you have a pimp? Did you work for a pimp? No? Never have. You never worked I for a pimp? Family. I always yeah. All right, Helena, I don't kids around that either. Right. I have three boys. I don't want them to see another man hitting on another woman. So I want my kids to learn that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her three boys are a lot of reason for her to quit, but starting off so young, the streets is all she knows. You never know. I see it come through here. Some of these people I've seen over and over again. I know that they want to do good, but they have something that's stopping them or due to an addiction or a situation at home that they cannot overcome. Hopefully the ones that are serious about it can get the help that they need. They're wrong! They're wrong! Call Action 13! Action 13! Since this gentleman is going back and forth emotionally, um, we can't trust him to be out here in pre-arrest on his own on good behavior. So we'll probably take him either for a cooling down period or take him up to 2C, which is isolation. I've been trying to do good. I've been, I've been behaving myself and trying to focus on my wife and my kids. And I got a, I got a daughter who's been down. in a wheelchair since the birth. You back and forth. You crying one minute. He's angry. One minute he's completely calm, and the other minute he's screaming. So he's uh, emotionally unstable, and yeah. we're going to keep him in the restraint chair. Why'd you let go of me? Your you okay, quiet time, Sarah. You know what? You know what? Quiet, quiet time. time. Here, you sit here in the corner and think about what you did tonight. You know what? I didn't do nothing wrong. And screaming again. Tell me what happened with him. He got into a fight with his brother. It started as a, at a bar. They came home. I guess he got beat up at a bar. Uh, when they got home, he wanted to drive away drunk. His brother refused to, to let him have the keys of the car. Try to grab the keys, and that's what started the fist fight. When we arrived, he was real belligerent, so he was pretty combative at that point. OK, cool. Thank you. Joseph? Can you try to stay calm so they can get you out of that chair? Because right now, you go from calm to angry very quick. What were you drinking? Very little. I don't know. Hard so, stuff? All I know is cops, like, attack me tonight, and I'm all up. Yeah, but there's got to be a reason. Cops just don't go around attacking people without a really oh, good reason. Oh, yeah, because they got a vendetta because they don't like me with their own. So they got a vendetta. I, I just, I don't understand what you're talking about. I was silly. I fell in love with a wife's cop. Oh, a oh, cop's wife? And that's why I'm going through this bull. Does your wife know about this? Yes, my wife knows. My Shh. wife knows about this for the last two years. Church voice. I'm right here. And my wife thinks I'm a crazy man because all my life, cops have been me all my life. Are you mad at me? No, no, because you're actually, you're pretty, pretty, you're pretty girl. Thank you. You don't want to yell at pretty girls, then. No. Is it? Is that dark-haired girl? She's right there. Hey, why don't you get on your knees, girl? It's not nice to say. Joe, I'm going to leave you alone because you're not fun to talk to. And you're kind of mean. And your mom raised you better than that. So you calm down, and I'll come talk to you when you're ready to be nice. Joseph, we want to get you out of honey, that chair. Honey, you need to calm down. Honey, when people play God, it's wrong, sweetie. You don't know, have the right to play God to make these judgments. Don't you think if you're going to make a decision, though, Joseph, you should man up to the consequences? Yes. But you know what? When God put my 
daughter in a wheelchair? Whose decision was that? Does that have anything to do with us, though? It's got a lot to do with everything. Because you know what? Now I know what it feels like for my daughter to be restricted in a wheelchair. And I curse God for putting my daughter in a wheelchair. Joseph, because you can't control yourself, we're going to take you upstairs, OK? So some time has gone by after uh, Joseph came in. The alcohol is worn off, so we're gonna go talk to him. I'm gonna see how he's doing. Hey, Joseph. How you doing? Better. You're better? You look better. You got enough sleep? You know, I'm surprised you, you remember me from last night. You're a totally different person. You have no alcohol in your system now. You're more calm. Yeah, I know. It's like Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. True. Probably a whole lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember when you were in the chair last night? Oh, that was upsetting me being restrained. I know. Yeah. I was an ass. I apologize. It's all good. It's all good. It's all the alcohol, like I said. You got a lot of bruising from the scuffle with your brother. For you not to remember, you must have drank a lot. Been, yeah. I know I got an alcohol problem, and I'm an alcoholic, but my baby girl, she's 16. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, she's been going through surgeries and surgeries, and I really need to be out of here and go back to work so my insurance can kick in because since I've been laid off for 18 months, she needs the medical bad. Once you see the judge, you'll be able to get out of here and hopefully get on a program for yourself and for your daughter. I wish you the best. Good luck. Hopefully, he'll be able to get into a program and uh, get through it, knowing that his daughter needs that medical attention and uh, him keeping a job, which means no alcohol. I've been on the department for uh, almost six years now. About three and a half years of it I've been spending down on booking. In this facility, we try to keep it as clean as possible. It helps cut down on all the all the germs. We keep the workers down here at all times cleaning up. Helps them uh, get some days off their sentence, but uh, yeah, it's one of our top priorities to keep this place clean. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, mopping and sweeping, sir. Mopping and sweeping? Yeah. You got everything straightened up? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little grungy in here right now, but you know, we're on call. You like Morgan down here? Yeah, I like yeah. down here the best. I started out in laundry, and then I was module worker, yeah. and then I just came down here three days ago. Well, good, guys. Keep up the work. Thank you, Sam. All right. They cheated. They lied. They said I grabbed their neck. I came in there. She accosted me, and this one gentleman out of five took me out of four people. Where were you at? My own home. My mom's dying. She's dying. Have you been drinking tonight? I've had a couple drinks, but I deserve to. My mom's dying. What were you drinking? I don't need to tell you anything. Just. I'm going to see what's going on with this uh, young lady right here. Ask the officer what happened. Why you arrested her? Brought her in. 20 years minimum. Sir, why was she arrested tonight? You did it. You are guilty as charged. Domestic violence. I grabbed the neck after she. So what you have to charge her with? Just that battery. My mom's dying, and I need to be there right now. My mom's dying. I've been going through some mood swings. No. Come on, I'm back over here. You caused me from being at my mom's funeral. She's very agitated, very upset. On the one hand, she says she's not suicidal, but the way she's talking, I have my doubts. So uh, we're going to put her in the frame chair until she calms down a little bit. Ouch! Do you know what you're doing? You're making me internally bleed. When I die right now, I'm telling you right now, she's dying, and they have taken me away when somebody beat me up. Yeah, make sure. You better believe it. Ma'am, we'll give you a little cooling off period so you can calm down. I'll die now. I'm going to die now. I want you to do this calm right down. now. Calm down, ma'am. Right now, on the 16th, I'm going to die. How much have you drank tonight? 
I didn't drink tonight. You gotta calm down. That way we can get you out of this well, chair. Well, my dad just died. I'm okay. not dead. Both my brothers are dead, and I'm bleeding internally. I left the okay. hospital, so well, I. Well, you smell like I... alcohol, so we'll just let you sleep that off. All right. No, but that's all not right. it. I guess she just needs to sit there and wait a little bit longer before she can come out of the chair. We'll check back on with her in about uh, 15 minutes. Okay, now hold still for a minute. Before I leave, I'd like the pictures more done what that she did to me. Okay, come this way. But that's on... Let's go back oh, out and have a seat right there. Okay, I'll go. All right, on. you've got to stay calm though, remember? Yes, I remember. All right, good, just have a seat right there. Boy, there's an awful lot of sandals. I'm glad that he was such a gentleman. He knew that I wore small. Yeah, we got him perfect for you, huh? Yeah, I'm so happy to be matching. You seem a lot calmer, though. That's really nice. Oh, good. Well, maybe we can uh, get you in the court and everything. Oh, I'm not. Oh, that's a secret Hold note. Hold on, I have to see no, it. No, it's what a is secret it? note. It's a note one of the people gave me. A Who? Special note. Who? One of the people cleaning. Let me see it. I have to see it. I'll give it back to you. Let me see it. He just said that I was fine and that could ride him. It wasn't anything bad. It says, what's up, fine girl? My name is Phil. I got till October 15th. October 15th. Till I get out of here, can you write me? And when I get out, can we hook up, send you letters? Please. Okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Please, I'll, I'll relax. No. I'll give it back to you in a few minutes, okay? No, don't get it, okay. Don't worry about it. No, I do worry about it. She had a, a note from one of the workers stuffed in the cuff of her pants. Um, you know, they know that they don't supposed to be doing that. Yeah, and so he was to talk to him. Right enough to sign his own name and ID number on here, so yeah, it's not like he's going to be able to deny that it was him. Yeah, so I think we should talk to him, maybe give him cat because they're not supposed to be doing that. Okay. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. He just said hello. Bill, here. Go ahead and stand right here on the wall. Yep. How long have you been working down here now? Uh, three days. Three days? You know you're not supposed to be talking to any inmates down here, right? Oh, okay. I know her from somewhere. Where do you know her from? Oh, God. You know, it was like to a friend of a friend. How come she doesn't know you? Maybe she don't remember me. I don't know. I think you're lying to me right now. You know, you said when you get out of here, you want to hook up. So it's not just about having her to have someone here to write to. Yeah, hook up like friends, like hang out, you know? Mm -hmm. Receiving any good time and work time? Yeah. I think your worker status is pretty much done. But you know better than this. It's in the handbook. It's in the rule book. What? You've rule been book? here long enough, so don't play the games with me, or I'll go for all your time. All right. Let's post it up everywhere. Go back in there. We'll come back and get you in a little bit. All right. Yeah, so he's going to lose his worker status. Yeah. Hopefully learn his lesson. If they do, give him the chance to be a worker again. He'll uh, take advantage of them and get his good time work time. Chris was really combative and verbally abusive yesterday due to all the drugs. I'm going to talk to him now and uh, see how he's doing. He appears a lot more calm, so let's see what... He remembers anything. Hey, Chris. How are you? How are you feeling today? I feel a lot better. Yeah? yeah? Do you remember anything about yesterday when you came in? Not really, no. You had a whole bunch of drugs in your system. Do you remember that? You had no clothes on. I think so, yeah. The last thing I remember is being picked up by the cops. How long have you been doing drugs, Chris? About 15 years. 15 years? How old are you now? 27. Wow. What kind of bins were you on, and what, what is that? Um, a binge is, is where you basically, um, you'll do anything and, and everything to, to get your drug. Um, it's, not a, it's, not, it's not a pretty sight. Um, you, you, will, you will do anything to your family, to your friends. Um, it's, it's, it, it's nothing that... I would recommend to, to anybody as um, the whole time I, I thought that I was watching somebody else. Um, I didn't know it was actually me until I woke up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt, <laughs> it's a feeling I can't explain. It's, yeah. it's, it's a dark feeling, yeah. You were a totally different person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scared me. 
I don't want to end up that person. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wish you the best, and I'm glad you ended up here. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go take you back upstairs. that come in here that are combative, it's necessary to isolate them for a period of time. It's when we check on them later that their personalities are much more compliant. Usually it just takes that cooling down period for them to understand what's going on and realize it's not getting them anywhere. What are you doing with my mom? Never your live mom. with your mother. Yeah. See, so you're supposed to have mom move in with you. You know, my husband died, and um, so I moved in with mom. You're moving the cuff? Yes, ma'am. So anyway, so... Your husband, your mother. Oh, she's wonderful, but um, yeah, just moving in with your mom at 44 is a bad idea. I don't care who dies. <laughs> why? Because then you can't date again, or what? No, because you know, when you're 44 years old, you just you're an adult. Does your mom still tell you what to do? Yes. <laughs> yes. Clean your room. Two you're the always gonna Go be her room. baby. Why are you here tonight? Does she know you went to jail? She's the one who called the police. Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? I bought a, a, um, a Neon today. I bought a, and I was going to move out. Bought a new car? Yeah. Okay. And Relax. So I was going to move out. So then you guys got an argument, I'm yeah. assuming. You know, it's mom, you know? And it's like she might be looking out for my best interest, but we don't necessarily agree. We're just bumping heads. So it got into, a, it got escalated. It got into a bigger verbal argument. It's... You didn't touch her, though, right? Of course not. Of course not. Who no. called it in? My mother called it in because we oh, call mediators sorry, to come that. over to mediate. You know, it wasn't like supposed to be this or that. I'm here because of failure to register for being a felon. You're a felon? From seven years ago. Does your mom know about that too? No, no, I hid that really well on You did, trial. really? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up with the bat, bat tattoo? It's, I'm from Las Vegas. Oh, okay, so what's up with the bat tattoo? Do I not get it? Because I'm yeah. from Vegas. If you're going to ask about something, you should ask about the skeletal pirate kitty. Well, I didn't see that. I yeah, should think that's really very, cool. very heavy-handed. Anyway, all right, dear. Go ahead and go to this row, all the way down the very last chair, and you can go see medical. Thank you. One more time. This, one. this row right there, dear. Officer, could you tell me about the female you just brought in? Yes. Uh, her mom called on her because I guess she was being uh, belligerent because she's high on methamphetamine, is what she told us. So we went down there, and before you, I even got to knock on the door, she opened it quick, like, and was, like, outside the door. I was like, oh, this girl is high on something. So I started talking to her, and she was just out of it, answering questions that we weren't asking, you know, so we ran her, and she's an ex felon who hasn't registered at the new address, so. So that's the charge she's going to have? Yep. Thank you. It looks like that she got an OR, so you know she'll be out of here in a few hours, like she was wondering about. What was her charges? Uh, it was a uh, failure to register. Oh, okay. Convicted felon. How long am I going to be here? Let's get you through the process, all right? I don't think you're going to be here that long, at all. I have to go back to mom's. Yeah, well, yeah, you're going to have to go back to mom's, but... How long can I no, stay? No, what are the fists for? I'm thinking I need at least, like, a three-day vacation. Okay, you can stay here three days. The only thing that you can compare it to, which is not a fair comparison, is, like, a domestically bad relationship. Get out, but don't go. <laughs> Get out, but you can't leave. Was your mom there when the officers came and put you in handcuffs? Was she right there? <laughs> Actually, you know, at that point, we had gone into the living room, sat down in chairs, and were being lectured by the police officers on how to act like grown women. Then the next thing I know, it's like you're walking out the door, and I can just picture her sitting there, and it's not going to hit her for about two hours that I'm not there. She start crying. My charge is um, failure to register as a felon. How did you acquire that charge? from not registering as a felon. I, I understand that. that. Why are you a felon? To... Why are you a felon? I'm committing a felony? No. All right. Check in with you a little bit, OK? OK. All right. What's the first name? Nicole. Of course her name's Nicole. All hookers are named Nicole. It's weird. But anyway, so what time did you start working at? I don't even know. I all day, like I said. And you made only a hundred, uh, under $100. That's terrible. Well, well, how many jobs did you do to get $100? Two jobs? It's very expensive oral sex. Yes, it is. You must just be very good. good at it. All right. Third row, all the way on the very end. She said she's been out there all day, and she made under 100 bucks. Man, it was hot today, too. Look at Janice. Come on over here. 
Okay, just put your back up against this wall right here. All right, hey. it's just the misdemeanor, so we're gonna be out of here in probably about six hours. Thanks for having me in jail for six hours. Thank hey, thanks like for visiting. Days. Don't yeah, come no back. Problem. I won't, I'll oh. try hard. All right, now that we understand <laughs> each other. Okay, in this room, while you're in here, listen for your name to be called. Mm -hmm. If you need anything, just raise your hand, ask the officer for permission first. First row with the other females. I'm looking at both sides, I can't tell the difference. Between men and women? Look at the... I know. <laughs> she's got a funny personality. She'll get out of here, hopefully uh, she'll finish whatever she was doing if she's gonna move out because it's not working out very well with her living at home with her mother. People come in here and they're pretty much cooperative with us. They come in, they talk to us, they tell us why they're here. And just out of the blue, sometimes people just snap. They just lose their tempers and they, they will not reason with us. It kind of makes you realize why they're actually here. What are you charged with, you know? Uh, breaking and entering. Breaking and entering. A burglar or whatever. I'm here for Sam, my daughter. That's why I'm here. This has something to do with your daughter? Yeah. So it was maybe a domestic situation? Yeah. OK. And she's not coming in, right? No, she's already held. You mean she's already here in this jail? Yeah. She is? Yeah. OK. So let me ask you something. If you're here on a domestic situation involving her, how could that be if she's already here? Uh, grandma set her up, and I <laughs> up grandma's house. It's grandma meaning your mother? Nope, my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law, OK. And what about drinking? Yep, every day, all day long, as long as I can. What do you drink? Uh, something hard. All right. OK, I'm going to send you down to medical to be screened, all right? OK. Come on over here. All the way down, sit in the last chair for me, OK? You got it. What happened tonight? She broke into her ex-mother-in-law's uh, house, <laughs> broke a couple windows, went through, tore some furniture apart, and tipped over some cabinets. Her daughter is currently in custody here. Did yeah, you tell you guys that? it's going to be a family reunion. Yeah, that's what I As uh, grandma actually turned her in for, um, she was stealing her stuff. The daughter? The daughter. OK. All right, thanks, guys. Right, no problem. How old is your daughter? 19. 19 years old. What's going on with her? Is she waiting on court? Grandma her up. She's a lying sack of poop. When I found out that Grandma's pressing charges, I went to go visit Grandma. So when you get out of here, what Grandma you do? better move. Oh, Tiffany, you're going to get yourself in worse trouble. I hope you think about that while you're here. Grandma. Maybe change your mind. 20 years of and she put my baby in jail, and she better move. But you're That's making it I'm worse. Saying. You're making it worse on nope. yourself. I feel a lot better, actually. <laughs> OK. Well, calm down. I don't want to upset you anymore. What's your name? Officer Joyner. There you go. Where's your okay. window? Come here, Red. Red, OK, Red, go get your water. She's really angry right now. Hopefully, the couple days that she'll spend in jail, she'll calm down a little bit and see things a little more clear. Look at them. We just thought we'd come and visit. Hi, guys. They got me for sitting under a palm tree drinking a beer. <laughs> sitting under a palm tree drinking a beer? <laughs> Why are you guys so loud? Go on down here, have a seat next to those gentlemen. Oh, yes, sir. What are you guys drinking tonight? Just beer. 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 Beers. Yeah, vodka. And vodka. Oh, yes, what time did you start that? This morning? morning about 3 o'clock. 3 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon? Um, morning. Do you know what time it is now? No, ma'am. No? Do you yeah, care? <laughs> yeah, we are, we are close. But we took a nap. You took a nap and then you got arrested? Yeah. Uh, I don't like him, though. Just for a little bit. You guys will get a nap. And you know you'll get a nap no, in a little while. I'm leave it on you for now. Go ahead huh? and have a seat. Okay. Okay, paperwork. These guys came in on our transport unit. They're a little loud and rowdy. They've been drinking out in the hot sun all day long, so I'm not quite sure how long we're going to be able to leave them out here because people can't get their jobs done when, when all you hear is these three. OK, guys, we're going to have a deal, right? We're not going to be real loud, so we can get you processed through, get you out of here, find out your charges. No, I just want to know my charge. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. You guys drink water or just beer? I drink my beer on ice that way. So the ice melts and that's how you get your water? That way you get your water with it. What about just I a bottle? That. That's my stepbrother. Your stepbrother? Really? Or you just call each other stepbrother? Well, that's my stepbrother. He's, He's my, my dysfunction. OK. All right. Hey, um, 
Mr. Get Me a Beer. I think they're they're ready to screen you over there, and you can slide down so that you'll be next. Make sure you. Wow, you guys are happy. You know what? God gave me a heart and a smile, and I can't get rid of either one of them. Let me tell you one thing, though. Okay. So. Listen, I'm right here, so we don't need to yell, okay? Oh, okay. Yes. Just talk normal to me. Don't no talk problem. normal, okay? No oh, he likes the chair. Can I have the chair? Have you ever been in the chair before? Yeah. yeah. Been yeah. Been yeah. Been yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in the chair? Have you ever been in the chair? I always yeah. want the chair, but they won't yeah. give it to me. Yeah. I sleep yeah. better yeah. in that chair. You sleep they better in that chair? Yeah. They were arrested, brought in. It sounds like it's going to be trespassing. They are noisy, but they're not angry. So at this point, we're not going to. Please. Everything's going away from here so I can do my work. All right, guys, we're going to take you guys all down to a cell, OK? Yes, ma'am. All right. Ready? Yes, take all three of them and get them out of here. All right, let's go. I know where we're going. No, we're on the ride. We're not going to the drums. Take them out of bellies? Yes. You guys, come on, stand right here. Do you guys know how loud you are? No. Okay. Step in. Oh. Your turn. Be quiet. I'm done listening to you guys. Put your hand on top of your head. These guys are having a hard time quieting down. Their paperwork yeah. will be delayed. So they're going to. Here, I got it. Make sure they can see my medical. Why are we going to detox? Yeah. Just need you guys to calm down a little bit, quiet down. We'll get your paperwork. We'll get you out of here, OK? They are funny guys. They're just too loud. They need to drink some water and take a nap. A lot of people come to Las Vegas uh, for several different reasons, mostly to have a good time. But they break the law, they come to jail, and we expect them to follow all of our rules. Nobody's special here. A lot of them come in, maybe they know somebody or they feel they're special, but everybody gets treated the same when they walk in that door. Face the wall. Okay. You're gonna be so mad. Listen to what we're telling you. All right. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, face the wall. Then you can go to the bathroom. Okay. Why'd you get arrested? I didn't even know. You don't even know why you, what you were doing wrong? You just got too drunk last night or what? Um, probably. OK, so then why are you acting Stop. like this? Because they're going to pee OK, so well, bad. What, you keep moving around. Yeah. Spread your feet. Fine, where we know. It's not going to be happy, happy. You have I'm sorry. Hey, okay. You know what? You should have followed directions. Okay. No, you didn't. We're here. Straight down that way. The blood drop. Oh. Come on, let's go get this. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Have a seat over here. Let me see this in. We're going to do a blood drill, OK? Don't move your arm, OK? He was uh, observed by officers uh, operating a motor vehicle, high rate of speed, ran a red light, swerving all over the place. I conducted field sobriety tests, which uh, he failed miserably. He was cooperative with the uh, field sobriety test. Then, uh, you know, I just guess alcohol takes over, you know? I feel like a criminal for a DUI. There's so many people oh, out man. here. There's so many uh, people out there. So many people are like, here I am. Yes, you are. For a DOI. Yep. Right? You're right. Thank you. Stand up for me. All right, good Thank deal. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, sir. Come on this way. We're going to stick here like to the one. You're a fat bastard, yes. right? Sorry. And can I call you fat? Can I call you fat? Call me whatever yeah. you want. Sir. Fat. Don't move. I'm a sir. You're a fat cow. Thank you, sir. Do some exercise, right? Wall, please. Do some exercise because your heart is beating for it. Thank you. You're a fat cow, right? Oh, man. Exercise. I'm going to leave him in there until he calms down. Obviously, he's still there, so. He's healthy. You Yeah, he's kind of like a almost codified, but not really. Uh, go ahead. Hold on. Relax. It's all right. Just relax, guy. Okay. He was he was moving around quite a bit in the back seat. His cuffs are code four, but I think he's high on something. Okay. You all right? What's going on? I'm drunk. You're drunk? Okay. What's your last name, sir? I'm trying to help you. What's that? I'm trying to help you. 
Okay. Yeah. Don't be moving around so much. Oh, man. Is that cool? Random. Slide your shirt on, then. No problem, man. Anytime. Where are you from? Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe? What part of Eastern Europe? Eastern Europe. How much did you have to drink, sir? A, a lot. Sir. A lot? Oh, OK. Right here. Dude, get lost, dude. What the? Dude, look at this. Let's bring him up. He's having like wrong. involuntary wrong. movements. He won't step up. I need those cuffs that I put on the chair to hold him. Let me go! Don't fight anymore, okay? I'm not fighting. Just lose this. Sit down. Ah, I'm not doing anything. Why are you doing this? Grab a spit mask. You ready? Try to let him sit out there. He started trying to pull himself out of his belly chain. All right. He's moving around. We decided to bring him over here, switch him into handcuffs. Started to resist, tense his body. I started pushing his body back. I decided to take him to the ground. We put him to the ground, put him in handcuffs, put him in a stretcher. I'm are you drunk. Oh, you're drunk? Of course I am. OK. I was drunk from the beginning. OK. What are you expecting from a drunk guy? That's a good point. The way to get out of this chair, just try to calm down. So what happened out there with this guy? We went to a fight call, mm -hmm. and there was about eight subjects inside the apartment, and he was one of them. While he was sitting on the floor, he just would not stay still. So finally, we cuffed him up. We did a records check on him, and he came up with uh, multiple traffic warrants at about $1,500. So we took him outside to the patrol car. Once we put him inside the car, he just would not stop moving. We'll keep an eye on him, see if he cools down a little bit, and hopefully we can get him out of the chair. So. Right. Face the back wall for me. Spread your feet out for me. How we feeling now? I'm gonna pee. Attitude was a little bit better. I am so done. Are you done? Yes. You sure? Yes. We were talking a lot earlier. Okay? I know. I, All right. It doesn't help it your cause. My alcohol. I'm I know sorry. it's your alcohol. You yeah. sobered up a little bit. I'm so sober. Yeah. I'm gonna take I this. I am so off. sorry. This I am so sorry. This is the alcohol. So usually when you drink, that's the way you act, talking uh, a lot of smack. Yeah, I, I, I'm part of a, of a show here in Vegas. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Come on this way. I'm going to sit you in the back, OK? Don't put your hands on the officers in here, OK? Have a seat in the back row. Listen up for your name. Remember, if you need anything, raise your hand, OK? All right, good luck to you. Still a little loud, but he's able to come out. He's not really talking a lot to us anymore. He's just a little excited. We'll see if he can make it. I'm going to go talk to Alexandra. He's been in a side cell for a little bit. See if he's ready to come out, get through the process. OK. Alexandra, how are we feeling now, man? A little bit better? You remember coming in here? We tried to talk to you a little bit. After you guys did to me, I'll be quiet. I'll do whatever you say. Well, what we do to you is we react to whatever the inmates are doing. We're going to get you out there, see if you can get through the process, OK? <clears throat> you got to take your little toilet paper shoes off, though, OK? Take those off for me. We'll get you some sandals, OK? Take it out of your shirt, too, OK? While you're out there, don't cause any disruptions, OK? Or else we go right back to handcuffs and we go back, OK? Let's try to go forward now. Get your arms through your shirt, too, OK? It's <coughs> a little bit more right there. All right, buddy, go ahead and stand up. I'm going to have you sit down first, then raise your hand and get some permission, OK? Go to the right. To the right this way. Straight ahead. OK, have a seat right here. OK, if you need anything, raise your hand, OK? Get permission before you do anything, all right? All right, good luck to you. Looks like Alexandre is going to try to make it out here. He's calmed down a lot since he first came in here. He was very loud, moving around a lot. So we're going to try him out here, see if he can follow the rules and get through the process. All right, he's being pretty quiet, so. All right, we'll see.
been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for nine years. We get the inmates when they first walk into the door, they're either drunk, high, highly agitated. They have just been arrested, so they take out their anger on us. So our job as sergeants down here to try to calm them down. So I enjoy it. Every day is different. He's laughing about it. I walked out and he's laughing about Whoa. that. I'm bleeding all over my <laughs> face. Are you kidding me? You have a little cut up on your eye. I have a little cut. Does this look like a little cut to you? What were her charges? Uh, she was brought in on a battery and a uh, trespassing charge. Yeah. All right, thank you. You got to put me in jail for that? You're hella bad, real bad. Tight. Yeah. Hey. 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 H
baseball. It seems to have calmed down, so I'm going to give her another shot and see what happens with her. But the other one's just not calming down. She's really upset with this. So we'll go back and check on her again. So. She was very highly agitated, verbally abusive, made threats towards the officers. We're going to have to take a look at her, try to talk to her, see if they could calm her down. We don't know if she has any psychological issues, but they'll be able to determine that later. Maybe she has some other issues we don't know about, but she complied with all the orders, so we'll see if she cools down. Tonight's just a typical slow night, which we don't get very often. You never know when things are going to go off again, so you always have to be prepared at all times so that we can make sure that we run a safe facility for the inmates and for the, the officers around. I'm going to play with the rules. 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 How about instead of playing with them, you just follow them? I'm going to follow your rules. Because they hurt. Ow. I'm sure this gentleman is a burglary attempt suspect. He appeared to be very intoxicated under the influence of some sort of narcotic. It was pretty mellow on the way over here, but apparently he became abruptly uh, rude here at the jail. Apparently it's said in that he's going to be going away for a little while. Do you have any allergies to medication? I'm allergic to milk, sir. It's not medication, it's milk. Well, I can I drink not milk to save my life. I will die before I drink milk because it hurts my well, If you drink milk, you'll die, so. Well, like. I got it. Don't right, I have no problem with medication. I'm allergic to milk. Got it. All right, please don't give me any milk, no, and I'm you, fine. No, if, if somebody offers you milk, I'm going to swat it away from you. I don't want you to get any milk, I'm telling you. All right, thank you, sir. All right, I'm, help, I'm here to help you. All no right. milk. My no head. milk, people. No milk. All right, good to go. You got an empty seat right down the front row. <laughs> What's up? What's your name? John. Joe? John. 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 I'm John Doe. That's what my name is. Really? Yeah. We blood brothers. Hey, I'm Mayberry. <laughs> <laughs> See what he's doing? He's sleeping. Sit down. See what he's doing? He's being quiet. Right. Follow suit. Yes, sir. There's other options for me. There There's is. no other there options is. for you. Not for so. me. Hopefully he'll sober up. If not, we'll have to remove him from this area so he can be by himself. Look, that fool right there with the green suit told that me fool? to sit here. That, 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 that officer, that officer, that fool. That officer. Fool, huh? Well, he told me to sit here. Fool, huh? Okay. That's just how I talk. Come on. Keep your mouth shut right now. I'm going to take your advice, officer. But you're not. You're still talking. Listen up there, Junior. How you act on the street ain't how you act in here. These ain't homies. These are officers. All right. We'll talk to them and treat them accordingly. I'm with sorry, respect. Officers. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Chest on the wall. And that includes your hands. Keep them there. Yes, sir. Yes, You know, we just had to finally get rid of him. He just doesn't know how to control himself or well, his mouth. Yeah, he brought the street into the jail with him. Yeah. And uh, he thinks that he can uh, speak to officers the same way he speaks to his buddies on the street. You ever been here before in our jail? Yes, sir. Hey, welcome back to the Clark County Detention Center. Glad to have you. Okay, left Left. What have you been here before for? Selling marijuana. All right, come back where you were. We got a call of uh, somebody at a Bank of America. She was upset and trying to get in when they were closed. Uh, they went through the bag that was left in the Bank of America and located a large amount of marijuana. And she was still there when we got there, so we detained her, started asking her questions about it. And then we wound up finding seven credit cards that didn't belong to her in her possession. So we brought her here for that. So she basically ended up leaving her bag in the bank was upset that she left her bag in the bank, was trying to get back to her bag, is that? 
She was trying to get her bag back. Probably because they had marijuana and other things. That she didn't know about. Of course. Hey, so wanted to hear about your side of the story. Well, um, me and my friend, um, we were driving in uh, his best friend's car, and we were going to cash a check at Bank of America, and there was a laptop case. So I was like, bring that in. I don't want it to get stolen. So I cash a check, and he sits it up on the counter, and we go to walk out. We go right across the street to the smoke shop, and then we realize that the laptop case was in the... Um, the bank. So we run back to the bank, and then um, at the bank, they wouldn't let us in. They just closed. And they say that you have to get through Metro. And all of a sudden, two cop cars roll up behind me. We and a bunch of credit cards in there. And so now I'm in here with six felonies for all of them, just because my name was on one of the cards. But the the felonies aren't mine because it wasn't in my possession. It was illegal search and seizure, and I got a good ass lawyer. So I'm gonna get out tonight. Sounds good. Well, good luck to you. Jesse, how are you doing now? Sobered up? So you're doing a little bit better? Yes, sir. Do you remember anything about what happened out there at all? I mean, you were being really well, loud and disruptive and... Out there? Yeah. No, I don't know out there. I just remember I got kicked out of my friend's house because I was too drunk. Nobody wanted to drink with me, man. <laughs> so nobody wanted to drink with you at your friend's house either, huh? Well, I'm glad you're doing better. Glad you're more sober now, okay? All right, just have a seat right there in that corner for just a second. I got something else I'm going to help you out with. You know, Jesse now is uh, really calm. He's got his head about him. I'm glad we did take him out of that area and brought him back here so we could cool off. And now he's a much better person, and so hopefully we'll get him through that process. DC gets a lot of colorful characters coming in 24-7. People come here to party. So we are constantly on the go, constantly moving. We get a lot of adrenaline rushes going with our Code Fives. People coming in very combative. I love it down here. On my off days, I tend to try to keep it up, working out, staying fit, so that when I come here to work, I can be alert and ready to go at any time. All right, miss, come on up. Down on the black mat, face the wall, spread your feet. What did they bring you in for today? Oh, DUI. Do you need those to see, or are those just like reading glasses? No, I have to see. Right, cannot see without them. You cannot see without them. Don't just throw my glasses on there. Don't move. I said, don't throw my glasses. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Turn around, face the wall. You're slamming me Turn for now. Turn around and face the wall, OK? Now listen to me. No, oh, I'm trying to explain yeah, to you that you are in jail No, now. I said don't. OK. Throw my glasses. He's not throwing your glasses, ma'am. He did. Throw my glasses. All right, well, it's over and done with, isn't it? OK, you never respected me for the minute I got here. Spread your feet open like you had them. Back off. I'll spread my feet. OK, spread your foot then. then spread back it. off and spread I your foot. my foot. OK, now I can tie my foot. Now tell me what you want to do. I probably shouldn't drink, ma'am. You're not a very nice drunk. Mm -hmm. I have. Whoa. Don't tell me who I am. Ma'am, you guys are abusive. You're being ridiculous. No, you are. You're hurting my breast. Okay? Oh my God. Why are you hurting me? Stop hurting my All breast. Right, put her in chair. Chair. Let me go. You're... Got her. Let me go right here. See, you're hurting me. Don't. Just have a seat. I'm so bad. Let me You're hurting my wrist. Killing me. You guys are like so really? bad. Seriously. That's a bad chair. I just haven't grabbed that one first. Watch your feet. They're going to cut them off. Hey, you go with the plumbing. You're intoxicated. I am. And so what? So what? I'm not that intoxicated. I was being nice when I got here. So do you speak Asked that way all the time? Park. No. Yeah, I was sweet as pie. I was so nice. We have you on camera being as sweet as pie, ma'am. Uh, whatever. So we're going to leave you in this corner until uh, you become cooperative and you need to soak up a little bit. Shut up. Get it. Sweet as pie again. Whatever. 
Where'd you get her from? Was she just a regular DUI pull dispatched to a call that was initiated by a detective who observed the vehicle weaving inside and out of the lanes mm -hmm. going westbound on 215. Was she as pleasant with you as she was with me? During the field sobriety test, she was very cooperative, polite. Then when I put her in the car, she wasn't so cooperative. Okay, thank you, officer. Oh my God. Okay. Do that. Okay. Huh? I do not. I do not. We don't have another chair, do we? Let's park in. Somebody got a gun. Somebody put something in my back. Oh my God. The code five's naked, and we're out of chairs. Thanks for the warning. Man. Man. We didn't have a restraint chair, so we had to take the female out so we can uh, use this restraint chair in case we need it. Okay, we got a code five male coming in. Uh, apparently, he's naked. Do we need? Uh, do we have anything to cover him up? Dwayne, so you decided to go for a swim in the in the Mirage uh, volcano? Yeah. You know where you're at? No. You're at the you're at the Clark County Detention Center. You're in jail. Big time, huh? huh? Big time. Yeah. So anyway, uh, before I take you out of this car, I can have some pants I put on you right walking. now. No, let me take me in naked. Let them see what they're gonna get. All right, you can go to the chair. You don't want to go up there on the phone. All right, come on. Put your hands out in there. There you go. Good idea. Watch your feet. You want to start? Sir, you weren't really clear as to whether or not you're suicidal, are you? I can't scratch my nose, I can't take the show out of my mouth. Yes. Yes, yes. Let me get a room for him. Yeah. He came in naked, swimming in the front of the mirage. He's coming out with the chair? Yes. You need to cooperate. Right now, you just got a misdemeanor charge. Yeah. Do it. Do what? You shoot me with the taser. I don't want to tease you. Why? You want to be tased? Uh, yeah. Where huh? are you going to shoot me at? My butt muscle? I'm not going to shoot you. I don't shoot want to shoot you. I would rather just take you out of this chair, butt. give you a blanket, okay. and then leave well okay, enough I'll alone. I'll take the blanket. Okay. Sounds good. There's your new blanket. Up and sit up. Why don't you sit up for me? You feeling a little better? Do you feel like you're not as intoxicated as you were? Do you remember coming in? Okay. So everything's still pretty clear to you? Yeah. Okay. Did you feel like you had had too much to drink? Not really. So when you're not drinking, are you generally a nice person? Yeah? Usually people are. You were kind of mean out there. Well, they were beats me in the car. Were they? Yeah, so mean. Hurting my hands and handcuffing me and mm -hmm. throwing me in the car, treating me like dirt. I probably should have taken a cab and I didn't. All right, well, good luck. Um, with whatever comes next, make sure you show up to your court dates. Do what you got to do, OK? They don't understand why they're being patted down again. People can come in after being patted down three times, and we still find stuff on them. It's all about safety. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 
Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. been here at the Clark County Detention Center for about two and a half years now. I'm down here in booking now. Probably my favorite area there just because there's uh, always a lot going on. We have people with code fives that come in that are combative and then you get to hear some stories that uh, people on the outside just wouldn't actually believe. Oh, charge. That's what I'd like to know. A what? Quiet time, sir. Intoxicated pedestrian. Intoxicated pedestrian. Okay, let's prove it. Let's go blow. I weren't driving no goddamn car, no nothing like that. I can't have two beers. You're not a very fun drunk, sir. Yeah, you're damn right. Just no goddamn reason for you to have this. Put your other hand on top of your head. You're pissing me off. Let's okay. not take care of these Come handcuffs. On. Put your hand down. Right now. There we go. Oh, damn, damn. Thank you. I got a bitch. You like that? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Hold on, I'm getting horny. I gotta get out. Hold on, I'm getting horny. Okay, I'm getting horny. Wait. Okay, we're good. Okay, just go ahead and put him in cuffs. Go ahead and put him in cuffs. I don't have another uniform to change into. Put him in. Put him in cuffs. I quit. I give. Okay. You win. I lose. I don't know. Second floor, South Car Nurse Contact. Camera on. All right. I don't mind. It's just it pissed me off because I didn't do nothing. That was disgusting. I've got dirt and grime all over me. Keep talking. Well, Officer Barjon was trying to put chains on him. He kept turning away from us. He uh, clenched up his fist and he tried to turn into Officer Barjon. So. Barjon put him in a reverse wrist lock and then that's when we tried to take him to the ground. He was trying to fight us the entire time. We're going to put him into the restraint chair. Okay, there you go. Just sit all the way back. What I'm just saying, it ain't dipping. But there's no reason why I should have been even arrested tonight. I didn't do nothing. We don't know why you were arrested. Uh -huh. We're Scott. inside here. I asked him. We didn't, didn't have nothing do to do nothing. with that. I just don't have another uniform to change I into. I was just sitting there, and all of a sudden, singing to cards and dancing as they passed by. So he was actually oh, happy already. He was happy He was happy he until he met me. This is our third time meeting today. You have oh, that effect great. on people, though. I do. I was walking down the Singing and dancing to the cars. And I always like that. do that. Okay, well, I don't know. I wasn't out there. That's just what he okay, said. Okay, you want to hear a song? Okay, but what, what do you I... Want to hear? What do I, I don't want to hear nothing. You're where I want you to be right now. Lay, lay, lay. Lay across my big brass bed. Mm -hmm. Stay, lay, to stay. Stay until the sun don't shine. And it ain't like I just do that. Mm -hmm. People ask me to do that. Is that right? Yes. Code 5 male, ETH. When it's a code 5, that just means the inmate's coming in, either combative or pretty aggressive. I'm not an aggressive person. I'm just burning from this pepper spray. Here, let me help you out from right here. OK. All right, what, from this what point do I on, need to do? you just listen, and you don't need to keep explaining what happened. Right now, I just need to be quiet and cooperate, all right? All right. All right make a right. OK. Stand right here. There you go. All right, separate your feet now. I thought I wanted to be a cop after this. No, y'all can keep this. <laughs> There's only a certain few for this. All right. Hey, right here. I'm going to get some sound on you. Go to the bathroom. Okay. Don't splash too much on your face. Oh, well. Because it's going to activate the pepper spray this way. Right now. So what about my eyes? You just lean forward. Right. Down in the sink. We're going to push this button here, and the water's going to come up. So... So what did you bring this guy in for? We show up, everything's fine. It's him and her, him and his old lady. Uh, they were arguing because she was wanting to drive away and he thought she was too drunk, which he was right. And I informed him that he was right. Everything was calm, no problems. Uh, we get done with everything, valet parks the car, and uh, they go to 86 and trespass him. And uh, he, he just, he, he flips. Just put my hands on him, you know, calm down, it's not that big of a deal, and he shoves me out of the way. Uh, at that point, I was like, no. Yeah. I got to put him in uh, handcuffs, he turned around and shoved me, and we started to fight with each other. Took him down to the ground. He started to swing. We OC sprayed him. Uh, he pretty much calmed down at that point when it's got in his mouth. So that's all it took. Yeah. 
So what happened? Basically, what I thought was going to happen was they was going to give me my license back and we was just going to go back inside and go about our business. Because I didn't want to listen to her read me the little 86 card. She grabbed me. I snatched my hand back. Next thing I know, she come up and hit me in the face with mace. Calvin. And I understand how aggravated you are. However, she's required to do that. You have to hear it. Let's get up and go ahead and get your paperwork signed here. And then we're going to go ahead and get you into the uh, open uh -huh. booking area there. Right here. Battery on police officer resisting arrest. All right. Two misdemeanors. So that's your copy. So you know in the next room to go sit on the left? Left side, don't talk to the females. Which you won't. Yeah. You had a pool level head in here right now. He still doesn't think he was in the wrong at all. He's here because he put himself here and definitely alcohol has everything to do with it. He'll just go through the process like everyone else. Hey, how you feeling? All right, how are you? Good. How are you doing, man? Good, sir. I'm trying to be good. Yeah, you uh, gave us run for our money, huh? Well. A little hands on? I feel a little better now. I just lost control. You know, when you're living on the streets, you know how much builds up inside your body? Well. And you gotta have a release. Right. That was my release. Okay. And I took it the wrong way. Okay. Well, I, don't I shouldn't take it have personal. done it. It's but I did. And I'm sorry, and thank you for your forgiveness. Well, yeah, your apology is accepted. We take one day at a time in life, right? I'm going to have to. All right, man. I'm going to say I'm going to do, brother. All Hang right, sir. There. Sit tight. I will. Love you. Thank you. Uh-huh. It's just uh, absolutely amazing. When he came in, it's just like, you know what? In a couple hours, he'll be a totally different person. And there you go. This is yeah. the aftermath. He let it out. I think he's really sincere about it. Oh, absolutely. More so than some of the other people sometimes. Yeah, exactly, because you get a lot of it from everybody. Working as a lieutenant over the booking bureau here at uh, the detention center, I have the unique challenge of ensuring that all of our staff are keeping in line with the mission of our department, a safe and humane environment for our detainees here at the jail. And now, you, when you couple that with the fact that the majority of the people that are coming in here are hostile, they're angry towards staff, a lot of them are intoxicated, it makes for a real challenge. We got a police officer who's called for some help out in the Sally Fort. I guess they were yeah. struggling with somebody that just arrived. Sure, I respect you. No, 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 no. Help me out. Kick them off. Kick your shoes off. Kick, kick your shoes off. I don't know. How do you kick a shoe off? Somebody show me. Shoes have to come off. Yes, sir. Thank just you. kick them off. There you go. This is a prosthesis. Yeah. Please, relax. You don't need to yeah, restrain. I'm going to hold on to you there, partner. Well, can Officer DK... Yeah. There you go. Come on. Kick them off. Can he please not touch me? OK. Thank you. I got it. They're okay. white. Hold on, I can't spread my hips like that. There, they're off. Can you give me my shoes? You got one off. Get the other one. But Thank you. Don't do that to me because it's pushing my alignment on my hip. At least I got to take his socks off, too. No, no, I really need them. OK. Please, uh, I'll book myself in. Off. Please, if you're a lieutenant, I don't recommend you do I have chemical hey, agents. Don't touch me. Got it. Is that all you needed me to do? Yeah, that's all we needed yeah, you to cool. do. OK, Perfect. what's next? Okay. Release my belt? Okay. Stand up. Help. Stand up. What are you doing? Stand I have a prosthesis. Stand, I'm not Stand up. I have a... Don't look at me. Come on, walk right in. Right that door right there. I can't fall. Oh, you're on my side again. I forgot. Hey, help me. Help you walk? Yes. No, I'm, I'm not going to help you walk. Because I have a bad leg. Work with us, all right? I would like to bail out this afternoon. Please, you guys don't need to touch me like this. If you guys just let me have my hands this. to my Sorry. wallet. Just this is resisting. I want to call IA. Face the wall. Face the wall. Come I am on. facing ah, the wall. I don't understand. Put your face against the wall. It is right against the wall. Officer, ask me if you're going to undress face the wall. me. Face the wall. What's face your name, big face guy? Face the wall. No, kill me. Who are we putting him in the chair? No, you won't. Yes or no? No, you yeah. won't. Right. Chair. Yep. Here. No, I'm going to hurt you guys. No chair, please. Um, please. Let's move a shirt. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down! Let go my let go my shirt! Let go my shirt! I am handicapped! You don't need to put me in a mechanical! I know what's going on! 
Sorry. Calm down. <clears throat> this is right. hey, hey, Sergeant, how the hell this are you today? Calm down. Your hair looks nice. But you're gonna go in the chair, sir, based on I how you resist. I don't care as long as no one touches me again. Because I'm not resisting, I have muscle spasms. I have multiple sclerosis. And I can't control my muscles. Go ahead, go. Why are you guys hitting me? Yes, you no, are. I'll get a speech. I can't yeah. get anything. Can you please help me? I need some oxygen. Okay, you're good. No, I'm not. Relax your neck now. I'm right. gonna have a seizure. Watch Mike. Check. Yeah, Lieutenant, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> me too. Okay, what happened to this guy? He seems pretty irritated. We got a phone call from his girlfriend uh, stating that uh, an issue happened last night where he faked a uh, seizure episode and basically forced her to bring him down to the hospital all to uh, get some prescriptions. Okay. The uh, nurses end up calling us. Okay. But by the time officers had a chance to respond, he grabbed her, walked out of the hospital, and he took her keys and did not le let her leave the house last night. Oh, wow. Okay. So this morning, while they were having a little argument, Kat runs out of the front door, goes to hide under the car. While they start to leave, she runs the cat over. So then they get, they all get in the car, all three, the, you know, the two of them get in the car and the cat, they go down <coughs> to uh, the animal hospital. And then she secretly uh, called 911 at the hospital, oh, okay. or at the animal good. hospital, and that's yeah. where we came out and came into contact. Blood pressure pressure on I can't do blood pressure on my arms. You have to do it on my legs. Why? <clears throat> because the capillaries bust in my brain, or my brain. And I can't breathe because of oxygen. Oxygen is what you need to breathe. Yes. Do I have medical issues? Yes. What kind? No spleen. I have two collapsed lungs, broken hips. I have brain damage. I bleed in my frontal lateral lobes. Any drugs? Alcohol? I do have <clears throat> pancreatic damage. I do have liver damage also. Okay. Adams, could you call 2C? See if we have a room. Uh -huh. Are we good? Good. Yeah, hold on, oh, uh, let's go pat down. Okay. Yeah. I take triliptal, Prozac. I take medical marijuana. I smoke. We're in 2C isolation. It's extreme highs, Lieutenant. extreme lows. Looks like he's also maybe intoxicated. Lieutenant. We don't know what he's on. Nothing. We're gonna put him in isolation. I'm pissed because so, I didn't go to church. Chair for a while. Lieutenant. Yes. My name is Officer Johnson. Okay. I would like to make a phone call to my. I lawyer. think it'd be a good idea to keep him in the chair as erratic as he's been for a little while. No, I am not yeah. erratic. Yeah. Okay. Really? No problem. Okay. No. I witness you kicking, screaming, saying all kinds Uncontrollable of. Uncontrollable muscle what? spasms because I black out because gotcha. of my oxygen. Okay. Thank you. Hey, can I take off the mask or do I have to do it myself? Maybe? Up here, he'll get uh, evaluation from uh, some medical. 7976. 7976? Uh, hopefully, he'll get the attention he needs. And based on his actions, he's just made us stay here that much longer. Of different crimes here. DUI is a real common charge here because it's a party town. So we deal with a lot of that and those inmates are extremely volatile at times. So it's one of the things we need to watch while we're here. They want my belongings. That's against a lot of snatch piercings out of people's faces. Are you from East LA, ma'am? Not from California. East LA, I'm a What you mean East LA? I'm from Watts. Ma'am, can you not say that word? What you mean? That word, no. You have a thing that I like Mexicans or something? Stop. I was 86 out of McDonald's. How do you get 86 out of McDonald's? It's, it's possible, How? yeah. And you haven't done anything. Well, probably because you're sitting and not yeah, actually, you know. No. You were spending no. money there? Yeah, I was spending money there. Were you and being I was, loud? No, I wasn't being loud. I've never been loud at McDonald's. Because when you're loud at McDonald's, they ask you to leave. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, you ready? Step on over here. But everybody in East LA isn't Mexican. Yes, they are. No, 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 no. Yes, I've been there. OK, I'll show you black in a minute. Have you had a head injury or pass out in the last three years? Yeah, I have. Your police like to beat me up a lot. One of them threw me down on the ground. Hold on, ma'am. Stay still. You got something in your hair. Wait a minute. That's part of my hair. You can't just pull my hair like that. No, 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 hold on, hold on. It has metal in it, ma'am. That's part of my hair. Doesn't it's matter. a pin in my head. It's actually... It's not a part of your hair. It is a part of my hair. The accessory. It's a part of my... Watch me take it out. I'm show you what it is. Now, what, was that a part of my hair? No. That's not? No. no. It's hair. OK, go ahead and stand up for me, please. 
You're going to have a seat in the back row with the ladies, okay? Where's that? Right here. Right here. Venus, relax. I was thrown to the ground for nothing. I came out of the bathroom. There was an altercation with a big, big guy. Okay. Okay, he came to me and threw me down. He grabbed me by my jacket and threw me on the ground. Okay. Okay, then he just threw me, just threw me around on the ground while I was in cuffs. So, I mean, what's the purpose of throwing me around when I'm in cuffs? Okay. That's why I want to hear okay. your, your rebuttal. No, no, no. There, there's no rebuttal on that because they do not represent us. They have nothing to do with so us. They said that that was their property that I was on. So, okay. where is their property? I'm trying to figure out the parameter here. Because I, I don't know. if I go no, no, all the no, no. way down, no, listen, See, I if I go, those. that's what I'm trying to figure Well, tell me so I won't get arrested for going to their property. I went in um, 7 Eleven and they threw me out of 7 Eleven and said that I had to get out of there. Well, that was their property. I need to know the parameter. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do, okay? We're going to stop right here. If you continue to be, disrupt, be, be disrupted and be I'm loud. I'm asking a question. Let's. I'm a black woman. I get heated like this. That's how you deal with black people. Okay, my question is, where is the end of the property line for them? I need some questions answered. Okay. Do I need to get my lawyer? Stand up. Can I get a Sarge? Oh, you can't. Wait a minute. No, come on. My arms are already broken. That's fine. That's fine. You're upsetting everybody out there. Go ahead and kick those sandals off for me. All right. All right, go ahead and kneel up on this bench for me. Now you're going to stay here until you hear the door shut. You understand? True. True? OK. She was upset when we were going through her property, thought that we were eating her food items, and she started going on pretty loudly with some racial slurs. Maybe we'll give her an opportunity to cool down and we'll have a doctor come take a look at her. All right, all right, all right. Simmer down. I don't have a freedom of speech. You're scaring her. I thought you were trying to be nice to her. I was scared. I was being nice to her. And she is trying to keep her peace of mind. What happened to your chair? I got beat up. Oh, my God. All right, come on. Go to hell. Come on. I'm going to take you someplace where there's someone that wants to talk to you. Come no. On. Come on. No. No. God damn it. No. Relax. Ow! Come on. Sit in here and be calm. You work for me. I pay my taxes. I shouldn't be in here. My boyfriend should be in here. Why? Because he's the one that beat me up. I'm not the one that got beat up. Did he do that to your chin? Yeah. And this? And this? Have you been drinking? Yeah, earlier in the night, yeah. What'd you have to drink? I haven't, I haven't had anything. No, it doesn't matter. Valerie. It doesn't Valerie. matter. Are you, you sitting right next door? Stop yelling. Right, you don't need to yell so loud. That's you know why what? you ended up in here. I'm right? done. We'll come back and check on you a little bit later. Please remove yourselves from myself. So we're going to go talk to Venus, see if she's calmed down a little bit, see if we can... Uh, Think about getting her out of this side cell and putting her out in general population. All right, Venus, how are you doing now? All right. You're just disruptive a few minutes ago, too, so I don't know how we're going to get you out of this cell. My boyfriend should be If you continue to, shh, let me talk to her. Okay. Okay. That's why you ended up in here. I see you. Because you always know why I'm disruptive. Every time I see you, you know I'm really Jesus. Don't play with me. You're Don't who? play with me. I'm really Jesus Christ. Don't play with me, okay? You don't have to play anymore. When you say that I'm upset and I'm, I'm, I'm aggressive and, and all this other stuff that you're saying to me, there's no need to say all that stuff because it's not why, true. Why don't, why don't you it's guys not, not, not hold each other, okay? Just touching our hand. Here, put your hand There down. you go. Okay. That's, that's good. Thank so you. So it, it doesn't make sense what you're saying is what I'm saying. Hear me out, it's not making sense what you're saying to me. But what you're That's saying all. to me is you're not making, making any sense. sense. Well, you, I'm not gonna ever make sense. You know why? Because I have the, the spirit of truth, and this world doesn't have it. It's something that this world will never see. Remember that. All they right, Venus, it. well. They won't possess because you guys are all liars. You're gonna have to liars. stay in you here because liars. you obviously well, can't I'm, come I'm out. Just telling, I'm telling them, keep it All right, you well. You guys are liars. You can't accept somebody to come in and tell you the truth. Good luck, Venus. All the to hell, especially you guys don't like you because you're a devil. 
She's just as disruptive as she was out there, so she'll probably stay in a side cell until she gets released, or she'll be moved upstairs to a module where they can monitor her behavior a little bit better. When people get arrested, it's important for us to determine whether they're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. It helps us kind of predict what their actions are going to be. That way, we can get them through the process without any problems. Who has the right to say that you have to be somewhere yeah. on a certain time at a certain place? Hey. Let it be known it wasn't my fault. Sit down. Sit down. I was going to say. I don't want you to say anything. I just want you to be quiet. I was going to come to you. I don't want you to come talk to me. I want you to sit there and be quiet. Shh. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody wants to talk to you now. You've talked enough. Follow instructions. No, I'm. Tr I know. Well, uh, I'm trying. So, uh, did you uh, bring Derek in? I did. What's up with him? Well, he was uh, traveling on Las Vegas Boulevard near the Cosmopolitan, hit uh, two parked, stopped cab drivers. Any three, injury? Yeah, uh, to his passenger and to the vehicle in front of him. So what do you get charged with? He's got charged with DUI drugs. He's definitely under the influence of something. What kind of what? drugs were you doing? Honestly, none. This is a lack of sleep situation. This is just alcohol? I have been wrongfully accused. So how did you end up here? This is probably the craziest story you've heard in at least a week. OK. I, de I decide okay. to go to the IHOP. Oh my god, oh my god. Are we really doing this? I'm really scared. Go ahead, keep going. And I, I place an order. And the lady, she brings the coffee out, right? Mm -hmm. I pour myself a cup of the coffee. Don't move. Boop. Ah! Ah! Little, little baby poke. She brings out the coffee, and as she puts the plate on the table, knocks my entire cup into my lap. Now, it gets better. When the cops show up, I'm standing there, basically butt naked, wrapped up in a blanket. You Ask took him. your clothes off in the IHOP? I had to. I look like a kilt so to speak. Okay. It's kind of jumbling a few things. Uh, we weren't at IHOP, were we? Did, did, that, did that make it sound like we were at IHOP together? No. The exactly. biggest part that we missed was the car accident. That's oh. that's how we got there in the first place. There you go. What'd you hit? It was a four-car pilot. My, my car is total. My car, OK. Both, how about the other people that you have? How, how are they? They are all fine. They are? Yep. None of them went to the hospital? Dude, scuffs. All right, come on. Let's go outside. Man. Okay, go that way. You see those shoes? Oh, where do you get that food? You got, you got oh. cookies and Cheetos, man. Oh. Can't beat that. Can't beat that? That's a bold statement. I think you can beat that, man. Look at those beans. That's yours. Go ahead, grab it and eat it. Huh? Oh, oh no. I got you. Here, let's do this. I'll hold this. Thank you so much. Get over to your well, the seat. problem was that seat was wet, you know? Whoa. No, it doesn't taste like water. Sugar water. It's even better. City punch. They call it city punch. I swear to God. What are you here for today? Uh, a taxi cab. These Vegas taxi drivers are ridiculous. I was driving probably 10 to 15 miles an hour in the far right lane, just getting ready to pull into my hotel. Literally, out of, out of nowhere, this guy, I'm just driving along. Yes, I, I might have been adjusting the radio knob or something. This guy burns in right in front of me when the car in front is at a complete stop. I, I slammed on the brakes as fast as I could. Nothing I could do. Right into the back. I hit her probably at six miles an hour, tops. Yeah. And, and on top of that, she was probably going two. So the relative speed of impact is like 3.8 miles an hour. It's pretty close. All right, hey, eat your I, lunch before. You can shake hands and nails, right? Are they, are they dirty? You're all right. You're all right. Okay. Good luck to you. Have a seat, OK? All right. all right. I'm going to try to eat those beans. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll come back and check on you a little bit. All right. Look at those beans. My mother would be sick to her stomach. Uh, 
Uh, patrol vehicle out there, possibly uh, code five. We're gonna find out right now, see what's going on. Las Vegas is egregious in their actions. What's going on? What happened? Class two. Class two? Yeah, just a class two class for two. Um, battery on a, um, on a citizen. Look at my face. And so, because of his actions and the way he's acting, yeah. I couldn't let him just trespass him off the um, Property. thing, so I had okay. to class two. All right. Okay. I've got his stuff in the front what's, seat. What's going on? He was a class two. I I'll figure it out. Right here. Come on. from a nightclub or what? What happened to your face? Class two, right? Or rather, class five or whatever. Class two means you're uh, in and out, in and out of jail. What about class five? What's that? There's no such thing. The threats that I've been getting this whole night. The whole night? I mean, I'm not blaming you guys. This is your friend, so you have to take the burden for it. And now you're in jail now. You know this road right here, all the way down to the very end, medical center screen. He came in for a simple battery. I guess the officer tried to just let him go, and he didn't want to prove his behavior. He's gonna have to be transported to the jail instead of going to the street. So we'll have to watch him see if he uh, calms down. He looks he's still a little aggravated. You don't want to tell me what happened to your face? I got violated is what happened to my face. In what way, sir? In the way, bro. Obviously, I'm you not have broke. glass stuck in your face. Okay. So don't ask me any questions, please. I went to Morehouse College, idiot. Sit down and face him, OK? Same place Herman Cain went to. Same place Spike Lee went to. Huh? Some people with a brain, dummy. Are you done? You don't even have an answer for that. Back your bunk ass up. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Get up. Let's move. Come on. No. No. Take it easy. I asked you to get up, sir. No. Ask first, and then allow me to respond. Get up. Come on. No, no, no. I'll okay. get up. Come on, take I'll, it I'll, easy. I'll, let me help you. Let me help you. Cause you All right, dude. Roll, dude. roll your knee. Roll your knee. You taught me how to walk. You gonna get up? Show roll me your, how roll. to walk. Lift okay. me up, dude. Come on. You gonna be a little baby? There you go, man. Come on. You got me up. Teach me how to walk. Get back. Get up. Let's move. I asked you to get up, sir. Roll your knee. Roll your knee. You taught me how to walk. You gonna get up? Come on. You gonna be a little baby? There you go. Come on. Come on. You got me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sir, let that go. Come on, bitch. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Oh, yeah. Roll him over. Roll him over. Roll him over. Oh, my neck, my neck, my neck. Hey, come on. Relax your neck. Relax your neck. Hey, relax. Hey, no, you're not. All right, listen. We're going to go out here and put this on. All right. You calm now? Okay. There you go. Fly this way. Relax. Relax. Hey, who was trying to teach me how to walk again? <laughs> yeah, he ain't over here talking that no more, huh? Lance is my only son. Relax. Do exactly what they tell you to do. Be absolutely calm. We'll have no problems, okay? Everything's come free. Place them on the wall in front of you, okay? Once you hear the door click, then you can come off the wall. What happened out there? The troll officer brought him in. He was really upset and belligerent. When he got in here, he was still kind of upset. He just wouldn't answer my questions, and he started getting uh, real verbally abusive towards me. So I told him to stand up. Let's go to the back. And that's when he just dropped his weight. Wouldn't walk on his own. So I helped him up once. And then he started getting squirmy. So he pushed me against the wall, and he started just um, fighting his back. He got it close to me, ripped up with my pocket. We were able to subdue him finally after the officers had got there. I mean, all this for a class two misdemeanor, which you'd be out in like two hours. All right, good job. Thanks. What did you get arrested for? Guilt by association, apparently. What are they saying you're guilty of? Apparently, my ex-boyfriend, I had went to go rescue him because he called me and asked for a ride. And boom, well, sure enough, apparently now I'm involved in a series of 406. Burglary. OK. Well, I'm going to have to change you out of that uniform. So Please do. You can't be walking around in that uniform. I just wondered, what is she here for? Uh, she's here for, she has a uh, robbery warrant at North Las Vegas. Okay. So North Las Vegas, 
put a warrant out for her arrest, mm -hmm. and we stopped her boyfriend in the car on the freeway, oh. and he had marijuana in the car. And um, he said I was, because we knew the car, you know, she was registered under the vehicle, we knew she had the warrant. So what we did was we just said, well, where is she? She says, oh, she's working at the mall oh. down on the strip. So we went down to the strip and picked her up at the mall. All right, well, thanks. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's going on. Why do you think you're here? Oh, I already know. You already know? Yeah. A 406, which be a burglary. OK, so you know it's a, actually a, a, a warrant for robbery. So you were saying guilt by association. This is something with your boyfriend? Yeah, he, he had me pick him up. I had no idea what's going on. Yeah, I mean, if you're saying guilt by association, you need to look hard at who your friends are, right? Oh, yeah. My actual goal is to go into Homeland Security. Oh, OK. Well, maybe you'll get this cleared up. So, so basically, I am being charged at this point. You're being charged, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. you're in custody, detained, and charged. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Check back on you in a little bit. A little bit of a conflicting story going on there. Helene is here on a fugitive robbery warrant. She, it's a little more serious than what she originally told me. She told me it was burglary, but a little more serious than that. It's kind of sounding like she's caught up in something a little more complicated than she wanted to tell me about. We'll see what happens. Oh, what's happening, guy? What's up? What'd you do? What do you do? Uh, I, I, I'm in here for a warrant. Warrant, yeah. I want to fill your trip. Uh, well, I, I, I'm, I'm homeless. You're homeless? Yeah, I'm what, homeless. What, what kind of drugs? Oh, I, uh, alcohol. Alcohol? That's it? That's it. And alcohol got you? Well, uh, a little bit of weed every now and then, but. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. gotta be some uh, I, I don't do no crystal, no coke, no, no heroin. H, no H, no heroin. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
So you guys are together, but you got brought in separately. What happened? Um, we pulled over. Uh-huh. Just pulled over. Who was uh, driving? Nikki was driving. Okay. I had a warrant. What, is your, what is your warrant for? No violation for not reporting. Why didn't you report? You know this happens when you don't report, right? <laughs> so you just made a conscious decision not to check in? Yeah. How long were you in prison? How long ago was that? Um, got out in June. That was pretty June recent. Yeah. How long were you in there for? 13 months. OK. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a long time. Mm -hmm. Nothing to you? All right, thank you. What was the deal with him? How did you make contact? He was a passenger in a vehicle, I believe, with the female that you guys had. Mm -hmm. uh, my partner brought her in. Basically, what happened is I was driving down the street, and uh, the vehicle almost hit me. So, of course, it's like, all right, well, I'll run the plate. Ran the plate, comes back to a 2009 Dodge Coupe. Oh. The vehicle's a 2001 Mazda. Right. So, come to find out, she's got a whole bunch of traffic warrants. Run him up, man parole violation pops up. So they didn't even see you. They just almost ran into you? Yeah, they were making a right-hand turn as I was crossing through an intersection. To so I had to almost, you know, I swerved out of the way. Way to get your attention. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it happens that way. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Did you come with a cell phone to jail? That's Sayer. Who's that? The guy that uh, had my car, and the reason okay. why I'm in here, because he had possession on him. Why are you hanging out with someone who's running around with weed? OK, it's a, what does it matter? I mean. I mean, really, that's not my, that's No, but not, you're telling me that you want to. That's wanna... not my life. What he does is mm -hmm. up to him. Did you find marijuana on me? No. I'm my own person. I'm sport. just confused, because you were telling me out there, you sounded like you had goals, you want to work for Homeland. I, right. You don't think they're going to background check you and anyone you hang out with to go to Homeland? OK, so just because he has a little fallback or whatnot, I'm pretty sure you guys have had something in your life where you weren't perfect before you became a cop, right? And now I get to be one of these people when I'm, I, <laughs> As soon as y'all charge me, I'll be happy because at least now I know y'all actually have something on me. All right, come on. And here, you're going to sit up here with the females. Take a deep breath. Go have a seat up there in the first or second row on the right-hand side. She said that she was here for burglary, but in fact, she's here for robbery. It's a little more serious than what she said. Now she's here, and she's sitting here, and she knows she has to deal with it. She'll get her lawyer. She'll have her day in court. She has like 23 tats. Go ahead and look up at this camera right here. This one on your arm, what does that indicate it's for you? Prison thing. All right, go like this. Did you get those in prison? No. Let me see the one on your back. Short fuse. Do you have a short fuse? Very much so. You're a ticking time bomb. <laughs> According to, do you have any back hair? No. Come on over here. This is the copy of your charges right there. $560. No, that's not bad. What are your plans as soon as you get out of here? I have to go to city jail when I get out of here for my other warrants. Gosh, take care of this. I heard you almost hit the patrol officer. Did you know that? No. Yeah, he says you swerved into him. He had to swerve out of your way. <laughs> way to get his attention. Oh, my god. Yeah, so that's when he ran your plate, and it was the wrong plate for that car. I've been driving in my lane. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> All right, step over here. Listen for your name to be called. OK, go have a seat in the very first row with the other females. OK, thank you. Uh-huh. Her boyfriend was in the car with her when they got pulled over, and he hasn't checked in with parole, so he's going back to prison now. Yeah, I'm like thinking a prison would be a big deal, but not to him. This is nothing. This is their lifestyle. All oh, Winston, sit up for me. How you feeling? Feel good. Feel good. You remember what happened earlier? Yes. All right. It's a little dramatic there. A little dramatic. All right. So you're here on vacation, right? So what are you going to do when you get out of here? Probably go back to Los Angeles. It's over? Probably. Trip's done? Just Cut the losses, get out of here. No mess. I'm not doing that. All right. Shouldn't be too long. I got no problem releasing you. All right. You're calm now. You're rational, OK? You realize what happened, and you know, you're know you cooperative, which is good. That's all we want. All right. Thank you have any questions about that? No, sir. All right. Well, take care. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, Hall Winston apparently did a 180. Uh, he's starting to sober up. He realized that what he did was a little out of the box. He's spending more time in jail than he should have based on his conduct. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops is throwing me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. People come to Vegas to visit. They're coming from small towns, big towns. They come from everywhere. They come to Vegas and they sometimes get overwhelmed and love the way that it is here. So they're drinking and getting out of control and then they end up here. And to them, their world's falling apart. I try to get them through the process as much as I can and try to help them stay calm, but hopefully that it doesn't ruin their opinion of how Vegas is. Thank you. Over here, ma'am. Go ahead and face the wall. Step up to the wall and spread your feet. Why are you in trouble? Because these guys are dicks. Have you taken any drugs or alcohol today? Yeah, I've been drinking. Duh. <laughs> but I have no drugs on me or anything. OK, thank you. That's cool. I don't do drugs. OK, put that hand up on the wall. So did the officers come into your house? Yeah. Or... Well, my mother called. Your mother called them? Yeah. Why? Because I didn't um, give her money. Like for rent? Yeah, I usually do. Oh, so she wanted you out of the house. So now what? Um, you're going to go see medical. So if you want to take this row right here, go all the way down the very last chair. What if I want to use the restroom? After medical, you can use the restroom. Try not to be difficult in here, OK? Because it doesn't work very well for you when you are. I'm not. I just want to know no. what's going on. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. You're going to go get screened by medical. And then if you need to use the restroom, just raise your hand, let us know, and then we'll let you go ahead and do that. So from this point to that point, what? How long is that? Or how long can I can I use the phone? In this room, you're not allowed to use the phone yet. I need to know when I can call my attorney. Okay. So I need you to stop talking and listen to me, because how else are you going to get the information? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. Go ahead and sit down. We tried. Let's try again. No, no, no. This row. No, no. This row. That very last chair. Sorry that you have that job. I'm sorry too. Keep drinking. Okay. We well, said the last chair, ma'am. So use your listening ears. You brought that female in? I did. The original call was a domestic violence. Um, we show up. Uh, it was, they had an argument between her and her mother. There was no sign of physical altercation, but the mother was claiming that there was a battery that occurred. Um, during our investigation, uh, they got into another verbal argument, at which point she grabbed her mom and started yanking her back and forth right in front of us. So that's when she was placed under arrest. Thanks. No problem. We need some help. I got the guy for hit and run. He's a habitual uh, DUI offender. Okay. This will be his eighth arrest. He's got different stories, so he's going to tell you a bunch of the stories that he was robbed. But he was involved in an accident, hit a uh, family of four in another car. Are they all right? Oh, they're fine. Okay. But uh, he decided to walk away from the whole scene, denying that it was his fault. It's a straight booking for the felony DUI. Let's go take a look. Hey, partner. How are you doing over here? Any better? You're okay. What happened? I was robbed. People Where stole at? my car. Where at? Off of Cheyenne. How many guys do you remember? How many guys were there? It was two or three. I don't really <clears throat> remember. And next thing I know, I'm in cuffs. Okay. What did they say? They said I ran away from the scene of an accident and I wasn't even driving the car. <laughs> The person that took my car looks similar to me. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all I know. I thought you said you crawled into a bush and went to sleep, though. You know, well, I was, yes, I did. Okay. Because I was tired. And yes, okay, I, that, that's not I, I had been drinking at the time. And so I just just didn't want to cause any more trouble than it was worth. OK. I've well, had bad DUIs. <laughs> Sir, okay. I got clubbed in the back of the head. I got knocked out. Did you get medical attention for that? Yes, I did. No, it was baseball club. It didn't leave much of a mark. Where'd you get hit at, sir? Back of the head. 
<laughs> it doesn't look like he's had you're any pretty, You're kind of thinning back here, but I don't see any knots or anything like that. Oh, no, it was... The baseball bat? That's pretty intense, don't it, you think? It was just pretty much of a tap to knock me out. That was it. What's important is that you're safe here, sir, though. Yeah. Am I going to get released today, tomorrow, when? Based on your charges, more than likely, probably tomorrow. And that's standard for everyone. Just be patient. That's the best thing I can do. It's just like the DMV, man, but it's jail. Hey, Tiffany, when you first came in, I didn't really understand what had happened before you came in. Do you right. want to explain to me what the whole story was about your mother or sure. something? Oh, it was just a minor uh, conflict. Was it uh, physical? No, it was verbal. OK. Are you, are you sobering up right now? Yeah. I think you are. You're acting a lot different than when you first came in. I know, I'm sorry. You're very upset. No, I know. I know you have it in you. I knew that you're a whole <laughs> different person, so I just give you some time. I know, I'm not really now. So. We're not either. It's just when you come at us like that, it's hard to work with you a little bit. I know. So. All right, we'll see here a little bit. You already got your picture taken, so you should be going through the process soon. You can use the phones too, okay? All right. All right. You do understand what you're being booked for, right? No, I do not. Okay. <laughs> well, you're being booked for DUI felony. Okay. How is that? My How car, is that? My car was stolen. Okay. <laughs> your car wasn't stolen, okay? We yeah. have reason to believe that you were driving. We have witnesses. The keys were in your pocket. I have oh, two right. sets of keys. <laughs> all right. You also are getting charged with driving on a revoked license, uh, failure to report an accident to police, duty to stop, um, and report an accident to police with no injury and duty to give information and surrender your license. I still deny all these charges. <laughs> okay, well. After I was beat up. After you get out of here, I think you need to, you know, we'll seek a little, a little different help. Am I right? Oh, yeah, we're gonna okay. seek a lawyer. The Eight DUIs name. is enough. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. That's why we're I'm done. done. I You're don't done. do them. <laughs> You're done. All right. Go have a seat where you work. Okay, you got it. <laughs> still denying everything. He knows that we're not buying it, but well, like again, what does he have to lose? He's just gonna keep it going. That's your story, and you're sticking to it. This week, a lot of people have been coming in very intoxicated, very angry. Several of the inmates have tried to attack us, the officers. I've been threatened. They've threatened to shoot me. They've threatened to kick me, punch me. They've cursed, cussed me out. We have to resort back to our training, and we want to go home the same way we came into work. I want you. You oh. oh this is a no swearing zone. Shut up. Oh. What's your first name? I don't have one. You don't have one? I need you to stand up. Oh stand up. yes, ma'am. Stand right I'm here. I'm standing. Stand right here. Face the wall. Yes. Face the I wall. The wall's right there. That wall right there. Anything sharp on you? Any guns? Weapons? Everything. I have Everything? it all. Okay. I'm gonna murder you. Anything underneath the hair? Everything. I need a lawyer right now. Does anyone know? All right. Calm down, Ann. We are in jail. I called you, and I asked for help. Can I explain something to you? Don't you ever explain anything to me. Can I ask you questions? Never. Why not? Are you refusing medical? I'm refusing everything. I want to die. OK, well, then I'll push you on suicide. Now you've said it. Goodbye. Shut the f uh, <laughs> you. you too. Do you, hey, Ann, do you know? Do you know something? Is there a You're sergeant? A jerk. Oh, you, you idiot. <laughs> no. You. Yeah. Oh, oh, court. Oh, we are going. Do you think to she's court. gonna make it out here? <laughs> no, she's not gonna make it. So we have to do the chair. Yeah. Okay. Shut up. You're gonna put right you back. in that little chair, okay? I want my wallet now. Right now, there's female over there. She's uh, pretty upset. She's a little intoxicated. She's uh, loud, yelling out front. Uh, a little bit confused. So at this point. Uh, we wanted to remove her from the area just to keep her by herself, but she stated that she was suicidal, so we can't put her in a room by herself. So at this point, we're going to have to place her in the restraint chair until she can uh, sober up and we can get her evaluated. Let's turn you around. Very, very angry. 
brought Anne into custody. I did. What happened tonight? Well, we went out there the first time because she was yelling at a neighbor in the middle of the street and uh, challenging her to a fight. A neighbor is about 80 years old on mm -hmm. auction, has a walker. So mm -hmm. she called us up. We left there and uh, told her and her husband to stay away because they're both extremely drunk. Okay. And uh, she, had, she had called us. So we went back out and found out that uh, in between that time, she had went to her roommate's her and her husband's roommate's room and attacked him and accused her him of uh, stealing his stealing her purse. So she went at him, ripped his shirt off, and then went back to her room and called us. Okay, so there's a battery involved. Yeah. So okay. Since they've lived together for four months, it's cohabitant, so it's gonna go under a battery domestic violence. Domestic, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. When she first came in, uh, there was a male inmate. He was extremely intoxicated also. He was yelling, screaming at her. She yelled back. So we removed him from the area. His behavior has escalated. We are now removing him from the cell, placing him into the restraint chair. Interestingly enough, she's gonna be sitting right next to Daniel. So they're gonna actually be in there together under observation. This is off. Don't swim. You'll be all right. Hey, when you came in, why were you yelling at her? Because I was distraught. Where's my hair? My feet, my hands, I'm broken up. Hey, officer. What? Tell this girl not to talk to me no more. Shut up. You know what? Don't ask me to marry you again, okay? Please. You need to be. Hey, don't talk. I don't want to talk about this, all right? You look, you, 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 I love I love you, sweetie. Are you going to marry me now? I'll marry you whenever I get out of my stress. <laughs> if we get out of our stress together, we may get together. I'll give you a kiss before I leave. Oh, well, don't you want to kiss me while I was strapped up? I ain't going to make you happy, bitch, because you know why? I ain't happy myself, all right? That's the way it is. Oh, well. Please. It's actually time for Anne to come out of the chair. So we're going to have to separate the lovebirds temporarily until they get out of jail. Hey, Daniel. I was Daniel. over here yelling. Yes. What's going to happen is One, two, three. your sweetheart oh. is going to come out the chair and go in there and have a seat and wait for you, okay? Where is my life? Why am I here? It is what it is, honey. Well, this is part of your life right here, what you're going through. I'm going to find some slippers for you. But for right now, you see the ladies in the back row? Anne calmed down considerably. She's out of the chair now. She's going to go through with her booking process. She's completely cooperative. She's going to be OK while she gets processed in. definitely have to be conscious of what you're doing at all times. It's very unpredictable down there. It's part of the reason I like it. We tend to have more problems with the uh, DUIs and drugs. Those are the ones that we have to deal with very quickly before it gets out of hand. Sarge. What's going on here? He wants to still beat up his girlfriend. What? How dare you? Why would I do that? She here? Yeah, she's no, in the back not. row. That's the one he flipped off. It wasn't no, a little guy, it was him. He went to jail. How much have you been drinking just... tonight? Oh, see, I have really sick. Yeah. Yeah. Right, come here. You don't even have to worry about seeing her. Hey. Oh, no. Seriously? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh man. That's cool. He's trying to provoke his girlfriend. This one? Yeah, this one. I'm learning. I'm learning. I just had this whole conversation with her. Wow. Why I let her beat me up? That's what? That's why I let her. You let her beat you up? Yeah, I let her. I, let her I don't really see any marks on you. No. Nah. Don't feed women alcohol. They'll attack you. He said he was feeding you alcohol. Feeding me alcohol? Yeah. Well, I think I fed myself. It was my friend's 24th birthday. What were your charges? What exactly did you get arrested for? They said that I was being arrested for battery, even though I didn't touch him. But I guess he has a mark, and he told them that I. Do you have any yes, marks? Right battery. Here. Wow. Tell the story. So yeah, let's Go hear ahead. what happened. I was asleep, or trying to sleep. He wakes me up to yell at me about Facebook. What was 35 year old. Because I tagged one of my friends. Is he hot? Yes. There it is. See, because he's not. <laughs> <laughs> and so he 
had a conniption and ripped this and I get arrested because he broke my mirror and a piece yes, of the and cut him so they think that I hurt him. Oh well. I didn't. What's your first name? Alex. Alex, where'd you get all those tats? Um, he did this arm right here. Love bites, that's appropriate. Right? I know, mm -hmm. see? Nice. You're gonna cut him off. <laughs> wow. Come on, Joe. Is that a joke? No, he, just hold on. See if he's faking this. Is this a joke? Are you faking this? Sure. Somebody's talking to you. Alex, he's never had a seizure? No, he said he I used to, you. but not that I've witnessed, no. Not since I've known him. Justin. Really? Really? <laughs> wow. He can just sit right here all day. Oh, oh, and he just miraculously came out of it. All right, do me a favor and sit here for another hour without getting up, without pretending to have a seizure, <laughs> and with, a yeah, you know, that was. Okay? Okay, if you see, you're, you're, you're right. I'm Just be quiet. Okay, yes, ma'am. Come on. Come on. What's her name? She's already threatened me. Really? Yeah. Oh, Go ahead really? And spread your feet. Go ahead and spread your feet. Don't push against me. I did not push against you. I'm saying, what is, what the hell? Don't. What'd she say to you, boy? She goes, keep it up. Um, like, uh, you know, an open-ended. Are you doing blood? Yes. Whew. Are you going to be cooperative with the blood draw? No. No? We might have to uh, do the restraint chair, force blood draw. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Not gonna cooperate? She said she, she wasn't going to cooperate. So I'm going to ask you this question again. We have to take your blood. Are you going to cooperate? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey, you're so forceful. You're so mean. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Simmer down. You're what? Sim <laughs> he doesn't have the tubes ready yet. <laughs> Sit down. Has she been like this all the time in the car? Yeah, very difficult. Where'd you, where'd you she get picked up? I was not. How Apparently dare you, sir? In the, uh, she was asleep in, in her pickup, and, uh, and FD, she wouldn't open up the door for officers, so... FD My key was not center. in the ignition. So she didn't do the field sobriety test? No, she refused everything. I, I'm not approving of this. I know my rights, and just like So are said, we going to fight here? Because is no, this going to turn fighting. into a fight? You don't have to get saucy. Boyer. Feisty and saucy. Saucy. That's pretty good. Mm. I don't think I've ever heard anybody call you saucy. You want? Hey, oh, I'm she's saucy. I, <laughs> I was not Shh, driving. Don't move. If you flip your head back and hit him, that's a charge too. Okay, but I was not driving. And don't move. He knows don't that. Move. Please don't do that. No, okay, listen to me. Diabetic. Listen to okay. me. If you pull away from him and no, somebody gets jabbed here, that's I another won't. charge. I promise I won't. Are you a bartender? I just don't want to. Yes, I am. Yeah. Why do you have to be saucy about it? Do you know her? Where do you work? Shh. I've seen you somewhere before. I know. Can we not discuss it right now? I'm not a hooker. I've seen you somewhere before, so I'm oh, trying to figure no, out. You didn't. Trying to oh, figure out where, I see, where I've seen you. I got to work. Oh, she's a dancer? No. Settle yourself down. I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with being a dancer. Come on. Half the girls out there. Are dancers. I know. You can make friends with them. I right saw now. them all looking at me like I was a piece of food. The girls? I don't know. Maybe I am. Sit here and be quiet for a while. I'll be quiet, but what do I have to do? To you prove? have to sit here and be quiet. That's what you have to do to prove that you can behave. Okay? But what if they try to fight me and then I'm... Who's going to fight you? I don't know. None Let's of these see. girls want to fight you because that's another charge. That's a felony charge in jail. Nobody wants a felony charge for you. So let's be quiet for a little while. She was a DUI, so we had to take her in a blood draw room. She went in a little agitated, so we left her in cuffs. And through the process, she seemed to calm down a little bit. So we'll leave her in cuffs, probably another hour. Justin, you feeling a little better? Yeah. Listen to me. When you go out into that open room there, 
your ex-girlfriend's gonna be out there, yeah. don't talk to her. No, don't flip her off. I, don't I even. I already know that she used me and abused okay. me. Okay. So. But don't make eye contact. Don't try and communicate. Over it. Come on, this way. Go ahead and sit down. He seemed to be a little intoxicated when he came in. He's calmed down. I think he's sobered up, and I think he'll do fine now as long as he doesn't try to communicate with her. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my home.